new toy. The One Leaf Rapid Fire. Hmm, what's this all about? Well, actually, it's a very smart idea from those guys over at One Leaf. Solves a lot of problems, more than just a scope. Keep watching, I'll tell you all about it and where you can get them. Hi there YouTubers, how are you doing? Steve here uh, from Ergonology with another video for you. Uh, apologies, the uh, videos are uh, long and far between, but uh, check me other videos, the channel updates. Um, I'm just slowing things down, I'm trying to get a bit of me time back and only giving you videos actually when they're useful. But anyway, less than that. Uh, Welcome to the channel, if you're new here. Um, we do air rifles, pistols, and technology reviews, hence the name Ergonology. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, bell notification, blah, 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 blah. You know the score. Um, and um, check down in the YouTube video description, uh, because most of the stuff that I'm talking about is all there. Um, there's links there. There's also links to our Facebook group and other places there, merchandise, you know the score, all that lot. So if you're new here, um, hit it up, look down in the YouTube video description. But anyway, today we're going to talk about the One Leaf Rapid Fire. What's that all about? Right, a little bit of prelims here. One Leaf, I've done quite a lot of video reviews on the One Leaf Night Sight. So this is very much like the PARD NV007, exactly the same thing. You clip this onto a normal scope and then you can have daytime video recording or with the built-in IR, you can have nighttime infrared and of course recording as well. So it's one of those clip-on units, the one leaf. Um, I will leave up here, I never remember what side, it's one of those two sides, or check the channel out. I'll leave you a list of videos where I've done a full review on the one leaf here, um, the 12 mil and the 16 mil version. So really seriously recommend you check those videos because I'm not really gonna go too much in about the one leaf here. Um, but I will just very quickly touch over what it does is basically this clips onto your scope. It's a digital camera, which means it records through here onto an SD card that's in there and you get video recording and you can do nice things like do digital zoom over the top of your scope, optical zoom. Um, and with a click of a button, you have an IR torch up here you can put it into IR mode, which then means you've got nighttime as well. So very, very handy, useful little devices these are. And the one from One Leaf are dirt cheap. Um, check down, I'll leave a link down there, but a delivery to the UK is free and they're really, really cheap. But there's a pain in the backside problem with these and I'm sure any of you guys that have got one of these clip-ons and know all about it is they give you a special adapter like so and that adapter you have to put onto the end of your scope over on the eyepiece and they never fit perfectly so you have to use sticky tape or electrical tape which they usually supply for you and then you've got to get that on place and then you've got to get the crosshair central and you've got to tighten up the actual Allen keys here and it is a right faff to get it set up. So much so that once you've got that on tight enough and central to the scope, you generally don't take it off because it's a pain in the backside to put back on again. And then the idea is once that's on the scope nice and central is you take your one leaf, um, let's see if I can get this right, and you click it on like so, and then you've got your camera day, night time with the IR attached to your scope. Little click release, off it comes, that stays on your scope, and away you go. Absolute 
pain in the backside to do that and get it absolutely correct. Those that have got this system will know, and that's with the pards, the one leaf, or any of the major clones out there. Absolutely pain in the backside. Um, but the clever people at one leaf have come up with a solution. And actually, it's such a simple solution, and it's really, really nice. And they call it the rapid fire. But Steve, it's a scope. It is, indeed. And it's a very, very, very nice scope, actually. Now, I, I reached out to one leaf, my contact, Adam, and I asked him, who makes the scope? Because you don't make it at one leaf. And he wouldn't tell me. He told me it's a large brand OEM. For those that don't know, most of the, teles the scopes, rifle scopes that you get, and 99% of them are made in China, are made by one or two factories to specifications. And this has come from one of those factories and obviously then being branded by One Leaf and they've OEM'd it. So it is actually an extremely good scope. Uh, it's very short, actually. It's only about 30 centimetres, weighs about 800 grams. And this is a 3 to 12 times 56 scope. Optical, obviously. So 56 diameter, nice big wide uh, to get as much light in as possible. 3 to 12 optical zoom, really nice. 30 millimetre tubes, so it's standard. Now, I've got on my Red Wolf anodized red uh, mounts on here, but they do come with 30 mil medium height Picatinny adapters, but it's a 30 mil tube so you can put any on that you want So you'll see pictures where I've got it on my Red Wolf, but that it's on there um, Really nice scope um, It has a parallax on here um, Side parallax Really nice Red illuminated so a standard 2032 CR battery goes in there, 11 degrees of red lumination. The turrets are low profile turrets on there. Nice, simple, good clicks. Now there's 70 degrees, M 70 MOA up and down, uh, maximum up and down, left and right, but really, really good clicks. And I've tried this scope and um, yeah, it holds it zero really, really well. Stupidly well made. The, the quality in the glass on here it is definitely nitrogen filled. I've checked that out. The quality of the glass, multi coated ED glasses in here. And I've used this scope and it's got a good long eye relief on it, which is quite important. You'll see later on. It's about 100mm eye relief, eye relief on here. And it comes with end caps. All in all, a really, really nice scope. And it is definitely top quality scope. However, here comes the magic. And you won't believe how simple this is. But basically, take off the end cap off the end, like so. And if you look at the end of it, it looks a bit different. And that's because they've manufactured these scopes to have the bayonet clip in already to attach the end leaf NV00100. So, you just literally put it on, um, like so, click. Perfectly centered up, perfectly mated, absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's just a simple, simple idea. So, if you want to use your scope for normal, a very high quality 56mm objective lens scope, 3 to 12, which to be honest, most people use that for air rifles. It is extremely good. Long eye relief, so don't worry, you don't need the cushion there. You're not going to be smacking your eye with that one. Long eye relief, very, very good scope. However, if you want to do some videoing or some night shooting, click it on, bang. Now this is zero eye relief. You remember when I said that the eye relief was for, for this scope without the one leaf attached to it, was about 100 mils. Guess how wide that is? About 100 mils, zero eye relief. So literally you put it on, everything fits in perfectly. Now you've just turned your base scope, optical, into a digital scope. And now you get the benefits of being able to record, take pictures, 
also have the one to three times digital zoom. So you can take that 12 times all the way up to 36 times if you want to. None of that messing with these silly adapters and with the tape trying to get it all central and looking silly and everything like that. Just such a simple, simple idea. And this whole concept, they're calling a rapid fire. So you're sitting there thinking, well, Steve, I've got an MV100 already. Do I have to buy them again? No, they thought about you. You can buy the scope on its own. Um, and the scope on its own is actually really reasonably priced. For this scope, with the mounts, end caps, everything, and the quality of this scope, and trust me, I would not show you this scope if I thought it was rubbish. 359 quid, obviously with the adapter. So if you've got an MV100, or does actually fit a part nine, a part seven as well, pick it in, and now you've got the combo. However, if you don't have one of these, they're doing a special offer at the moment where you can get both together in the same package for $500. Link is down in the YouTube video description. That's yeah, $359 just for the scope, $500 for the combination. That's dollars, by the way, so you're talking about four, £430 free delivery to the UK. I've checked it. I've tapped it in and looked at the delivery. Free delivery. Loads of you guys have got these already, you might want to add one of these in. You know, just for that price, actually, I think the scope is well worth the price. Bang, away you go. It works quite happily with the 16 mil version that I have here, and it works with the 12 mil version of the MV100. Um, so you can use both. Now, if you use a 12 mil, you will get a slightly wider field of view, but you will get some oval shapes on your image because of obviously it's wider. If you use the 16, then it fills the image a bit more, but it's not quite as wide field of view. I've tried it with both. Um, I'm probably leaving a video playing at the moment of daytime shooting on it, or have done, uh, just to show you. Um, I was going to do some nighttime, but I just don't have, you know, it gets dark way too late at the moment. Um, and seriously, I'm struggling with time, work, and everything. I need my sleep. But check my other MV100 commander. Uh, one leaf radio views, you'll see some nighttime. I might throw some at nighttime into here as well. But it's just a simple solution. Bang. In works. Perfectly centered every single time. Of course, you get all of the functionality of the MV100 you're used to. And it's just a simple, simple idea. I love it. And the fact that they could have the OEM'd a really, really cheap scope. But they haven't. They've actually gone and got a proper good quality one. I'm trying to think what scope this looks like. I'll leave pictures. You can probably find out and have a look and see what scope does this look like because it looks like some of the other major brand scopes in the three to uh, 12 to 50 times 56. You know, it just doesn't have their name on the side. It has one leaf's name on the side of it. Um, if you do decide that you want to get the, the combined package of these, they call that the Commander NV100 Plus. Plus, because you get plus the scope. And if you do do that, you do also get the attachments, the ring mounts, and the other bits and pieces like the extra eye caps, etc. with that. Or if you just go for the scope, then you get the scope, you get the mounts, and you get the end caps. Really, really nice. The only thing you've got to do is supply your own battery. They don't send you a battery. Well, that's probably because of international shipping and all that lot. But um, yeah, I'm suitably, suitably impressed with that. Um, that I like. Nice ideas, nicely designed. They haven't tried to design their own scope. They've gone to the major manufacturers and brought one in that everybody else uses. Um, really, really impressed with that. So what's the pros and the cons? You know me, I'll tell you exactly what I think about this. Right, number one, it's a very nice scope. Um, I've played with this a lot. It's a great optical scope. And all they've done at the end of the day is take a really good scope that loads of other manufacturers are using already and just put their own bayonet clip on the end of it. Really good scope, easy to use. Yeah, just clip it on, it works. No more messing around. Um, the price. Just for the scope alone, actually, I'm impressed with the price. You know, 360 quid, dollars, sorry, dollars, free shipping. 
for that scope. I'd happily pay that just for the scope. So the scope is well priced as well. The fact that you can, if you already have an MV100, you can just buy the scope and add that on, or you can buy the package. Good idea. I'm good to see that they're thinking of their existing customers rather than trying to fleece them for more money. That's really, really good. Some of the negative sides, all right, there are a couple of negatives. Number one, they only have this scope at the moment. Now I've reached out to my contact um, at One Leaf, Adam, and I asked him, are you planning to bring additional scopes? Because at the moment it's only the three to 12 times 56. And the answer is, let's see how the public receive it. If they like it and we sell more, then we will offer more scopes. If the public don't like it, then obviously they won't. And it's fairly easy for them to do that. They've done it once, they can do it again with different size scopes. So at the moment, it's only the three to 12 times 56 on there. The scope is very short and they've designed it to be short, but you'll notice that the actual tube itself is short as well, where you can put your mounts. Now on my Red Wolf, this is difficult to set up on my Red Wolf because of the way that the dovetail mounts are set up with the magazine port. It, it's a bit difficult to get a good eye relief on this. I could do it, I might need to get some adapters uh, on there. But um, yeah, if you've got one of those rifles that's got a good long rail, uninterrupted un rail, or you've got plenty of back rail on there, but just take a look at it, measure it all up. Um, some rifles, it's a bit of a shock, but that's the same with any scope that you buy on there. Um, and of course, depending on how you set that onto your rifle, you really got to get your eye relief right on there, okay? So what I would recommend you do is you take a look at that. Um, I told you that it's 300, mil, uh, 300 millimeters from there to there. Work out where the midpoints is, see if it would fit on your rifle. Like I said, with my Red Wolf, it struggled with it, but with my um, FX Impact, that's got a big long rail on the top, you can see up there, not a problem at all. Um, it's just those edge cases. But those are the only, oh, and one of a slight downside is that the mounts you give you, they give you appear to be medium height. And this being 56 mil objective, you might find that that part of your scope is just touching your barrel, depending on your rifle. So on my Red Wolf, that is just clearing my barrel on there. And I don't, obviously do not want that touching the barrel. Um, so you might want to try to use some high-rise scopes uh, mounts on there if you want. But again, they give you the mediums for free um, and it's a 30 mil tube so you can put anything on there that you want. But um, I'd love to know your thoughts. Sometimes I just like the simple ideas and that is a simple idea. And they've actually done it properly. Instead of, like I said, just getting some cheap old scope and doing it, they've actually gone and found one of the major manufacturers and they've actually got some quality scope there in its own right is a good product. And then they've changed the end to allow you just to take your MV100, click it on as and when you want a digital option for nighttime use as well. Very, very nice. Well done, One Leaf. Seriously, do recommend them. And you know, I only recommend the stuff that I like. Um, anyway, like I said, love to know your thoughts and I will catch you on the next video.